I know there's a few people like to come in my comment section and be like, Kendall reacts. It's, it's not against the law to curse at the cops. It's not against the law if the cop requests you and tells you to put your windows down. You don't have to put it all the way down. It's called being polite, man. It's called being respectful. Listen, you just can't go around cursing people out for them doing their job or because you have the rights to. Is that, is, is that what you're saying? Is this society now? We're going to curse people out for doing their job? And then we want to know why society is the way it is right now? Wrong is wrong, man. You have to own up to your wrong. That's why I do these type of videos. I'm not going to condone somebody disrespecting the cop when he's doing absolutely nothing wrong. I'm not going I'm not going to condone that behavior. This is why the youths are so disrespectful. It's like they can't even tell the difference from when it's time to be disrespectful and when it's not the time. When a cop pull you over and you're wrong, you got no license. <laughs> you ain't got your identification on you. Your tags expired. You got warrants. That is the time for you to be humble. And if you be respectful, maybe the cop might give you a warning and let you go. You gotta remember, every action, there's a reaction. Always remember that. So I'm not gonna condone that type of behavior. Not at all. You're not gonna get that here on this channel. I'm a very respectful father. I raise my kid to go there and respect others. That's the way you have to try and mold that back into society. All right? So, hey, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know what you think about this video in the comments. With that said, let's get into this one. On January 22, 2023, an Oklahoma officer spotted a vehicle driving over the speed limit. She's in the silver car to the left of us. The officer instructed the vehicle's driver to turn right and pull over. You need to turn right. Turn right and pull over. Ah, hey, but we got a language barrier here. <laughs> You roll down your window? You have your driver's license and insurance? Yeah, you know I can't see nothing. You? you know why I'm stopping you? Yeah, do you know how fast you were going? Ma'am, I can't hear you. Do you know how fast you were going? Pardon? You know what the speed limit is? No, ma'am. You just passed a sign that says 35. When you passed it, you were going 65. It was only what? What was only five? Okay. Well, you were going 30 over the speed limit. That is a lot. You just, no, you just said the speed limit is 35. I'm going 40. No, you said you were going 40. You said that. I never said you were going 40. You said that. Okay. Okay, well you passed about you passed about ten signs that were slowing you down. No, uh, okay, it's what? No, I didn't. It was only one sign. <laughs> she wrote the to twist the cops' words ready. You see, this is what I was saying at the beginning of the video, right? When you're in the type of situations, man, and the traffic, you can not hear anything. That's why it's better for you to put your windows up at least halfway down. The cop is like this, huh? Man, I can't what? It's, you can't hear anything. How are you supposed to communicate properly? Come on, man. Don't call my comments with this nonsense, all right? At least halfway down, man. Come on. Cup can barely, I can barely hear her. It's like she's whispering inside the car. If you're trying to speak properly and clear things up, the officer must be able to hear you. You got to go so close to the window. It's almost like you're trying to go inside the car. No. There's only one side. All right, way right here. The officer returned to his vehicle to run the suspect's information. A few moments later. Hey ma'am, I do have an initial citation for the speeding, but I'm not going to make it for the full amount over. I'll reduce it down and just... Are you okay? Wow! I'm sorry, I, I, do, I do have the issue a citation. I, uh, it is going to be for the full amount over. If you'll uh, use your finger, sign right here in the yellow box. Record a system on the citation. If you wish to go to court or if you'd rather pay for it, there are instructions under cover. It's not an admission of guilt, it's just saying that you promise to appear in court or get the citation taken care of before the court date. You know, I would like to actually go to court about it. Sure, you're more than welcome to. You still have to sign. Okay, why do I have to give you my signature? 
Well, it's your uh, signature bond that allows me to let you go. Otherwise, you go to jail. Use your brain. Well, you were speeding, like I explained. You were going 30 over. You're getting a citation for it. You have a court date. You're more than welcome to go to court and contest the citation. Why do I have to get a court date for a citation? Yeah! Go ahead and step, okay. out, of all, no, go step out of the vehicle then. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle. I just okay. said I'll sign it. Okay, go ahead and step out of the vehicle. I will sign it. I'm not going step to out of the car. If you do not sign it, you are I going to jail. I just said I will okay. sign step it. Step out of the car. You're doing too much. I I'm just said I will sign it. I understand. Do you have marijuana in the vehicle? No, I don't. I can sure smell it. Why don't you go and step out of the car? Step out of the car. Come on. I understand that. I can smell marijuana. You need to step out of the vehicle. Do you have a marijuana card? Yes, I do. Okay. Step out of the vehicle, please. So why do I need Step out of the vehicle, please. Can you give me a Either you can do it. Get it out the store. Come on back here. We ain't got all day out here. We ain't got all day. Is your marijuana card in your purse? I already have card. one. It's in the system that y'all okay, have. So I don't even your, need to carry one. Yeah, you still have to carry one. They don't require you. me to carry one. You can look it's it all up. It's, 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 that, there's no law against that. I just told you I would sign that. Why are y'all doing all this? Okay, I'm not going to play games. Do you have marijuana everything. in the vehicle? No, I don't. Okay, do we're <laughs> Shout out to this cop. That's what I'm talking about. We ain't got time to play games. Listen, man, the cop. Why you got to say it like 20 times? You guys, how many times he was explaining it to her? That's why you should put your windows down so your community can be better, understand what he's saying. All right, so if I don't sign it, I go to jail. If I do sign it, it's just showing that I have to show up in court. It's not saying that I'm guilty, but I just have to appear. All right, no problem. That's it. People have to act like this. You guys saw the video I reacted to a couple months ago with the lady in the park in Atlanta, Georgia, with the same citation laws. All she had to do was sign it. And then she had to spend the night in jail or a weekend. Come on, man. This is so simple and so easy. All you got to do is just sign, man. All the cops said, all you got to just call up, pay. That's it. Done deal. Come back here and have a seat in my vehicle. I just told you I was signing. Nah, we ain't playing games. Nah, I ain't got to say like 20 times, man. You crying? I'll Come take your on, insurance. Man. No, don't, don't pull away. Don't be like that. That is documented. You know that is my insurance. So okay. why are you taking me? Stop, 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 stop. Don't, don't, don't start tensing up. Why are you putting Relax. my hand like just, that? No, stand back up. Turn around. Put Come your here, hand behind your back. Why are you turn doing? It? You can't just put relax. your hands. You stop. cannot. Stop. Shut up. Don't be like that. Just relax. Just relax. You're making it worse. You're making it worse. You're making it worse. Stop. Stop. You're making it worse. Help. While you're resisting arrest right now. I'm not resisting arrest. You cannot. <laughs> Ma'am, you're resisting. Don't get that extra charge. You don't have okay. the right to do Relax. Relax. Calm down. Do you have anything else to go on you? I just told you, you just want to search me because no. you're a weirdo. <laughs> you I don't want to search what? you. Yeah, Why are you touching me? Too. That's where the smells come from. I need my gloves first. Yes. Why are you yeah. 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 Just relax. Ow. Why are you getting so upset? And I know the cops are about to say, why are you getting so upset? I'm trying to figure out the same thing too, officer. Like, why are you getting upset? As adults, we have to know traffic laws. We have to know how to carry yourself in public. You know you were speeding. You know you were doing like 65 in a 35. Wrong. Officer, I apologize. I just came and I was speeding. I apologize. Here's my information. He comes back. Hey, you got to sign this. It's a citation. Sign it saying that you, you, um, you wanted to show up in court. Damn, that's it. You're going your merry little way home. When you want to put your one on this small, and you want to whisper out the window, acting like a fool, acting like you can't understand or comprehend what the cop is saying, maybe you should put the windows down. We adults here, man. I'm not going to baby adults. I'm talking about grow I'm an adult. I don't do this nonsense. I know what I'm supposed to do and what I'm not supposed to do. People want people to babysit. Want me to be nice. Can the reaction be a little too tough on them? They're adults. 
if we're talking about kids or teens, maybe it's a difference. We're talking about grown women and grown men. This is what's wrong with society. We need more toughness. Come on, man. Y'all got to stop. Y'all really got to stop, man. Look how she's acting. My daughter is 13, and she don't even act like that. Come on, man. This is a grown word. Probably older than me. Up in there crying like a baby. Nah, society, nah. It's like this. This is a nothing deal. Just relax. Why? I did nothing wrong. Well, you were speeding. That's wrong. You can't do that. Who came in outside? I wasn't speeding. Well, you've also been smoking marijuana. You no, can't I... drive while smoking marijuana. I am doing just fine. I just want reasons to come for me. Yes, I can. I'm doing just fine. Okay. Well, reasons to come for you. Oh, my gosh. Okay, would you step, back? step on back out? Oh, I don't know. Here, spread your feet for me. Spread your feet. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got nothing on me, crazy! He's got trouble. Alright. Okay, have a seat. There you go. Slide all the way in, please. Jill, Jill. I'm a little confused, Miss Blair. You were really upset when I put you back here. When I sit back down, you just got this big smile on your face. Y'all were kind of doing too much. Like, I was really just kind of being respectful. Uh huh. Very and y'all kind of just. What? <laughs> Well, whenever you have the odor of marijuana in your vehicle, we get to search and find the marijuana, which, there it is. Oh, damn. I didn't find your card. Is your card in there somewhere? Uh, I'm not saying you can't get it through Medicaid. I'm just telling you, you have to have a physical card in your possession at all times. Well, you don't, you don't, you don't get to speak to a lawyer before you get arrested. <laughs> Yes, I do. At the time that you're reading those... Well, you had already been arrested. No, you haven't. You said sign it, and I wouldn't be arrested, and that what I, that's what I was about to do. And then you just made me get out the no, car. No, no. Lock it. No. Yeah. You didn't ask me to get out the car to sign it. You just said sign it. Okay. I have my window down like you asked. Like uh -huh. My ID. Yeah. You asked my ID. Then I believed you were driving under the influence of marijuana. Uh -huh. The smell, the odor. Yeah, just fine. I pulled over like I was supposed to all the down Okay. I got on my PA and asked you three times to pull over to the right, and you never did. That was suspicious. You just barely cracked your window. I could smell a mild odor of marijuana coming from out of the vehicle. That was suspicious, probably because you didn't want to lower it down all the way because you thought I would smell it all. And then when I went back up there, my partner showed up. She confirmed that she could smell marijuana. I have a little bit more difficult time of smelling it. Uh, but then once I got you out, I could see green on the back of your tongue, and then I found the marijuana in the back seat on the floorboard. And then you resisted arrest. You're up and down emotionally. You were really upset earlier. Now you're calmed way down, and your eyelids are droopy. I, those are all indicators to me that you're driving under the influence. So you're argumentative. Those are okay. All right. Damn, the officer this brick hit down. Wow. Sheesh. Damn, man. That's the reason why, when he, once he mentioned the marijuana, that explains why she didn't put her window down. He is smart, too. Though. It doesn't make sense why you wouldn't want to put it all the way down. That's going to come right right in his face. Bam! Damn, man. What you smoking in there? Is that fire? <gasps> Did that son just get shot? <laughs> Did that listen, no. Listen, listen to the way she's talking, right? Is it bipolar? What, like, what's really going on? What is this? You guys saw how emotional she was? Just like the cops said the same thing. Like, man, you going up and down. Like, what's really going on here? She was all dramatic, crying, pulling on a big... Maybe she was doing that so the cop might show her some sympathy and let her go. Maybe. Or maybe she does. I don't know. But listen, listen to how calm she's talking now. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm confused myself. 
the suspect was charged with DUI, resisting an officer, possession of marijuana, and speeding. Damn, she got hit with that DUI. Damn. Resisting an officer. Damn. That's why I said, ma'am, don't do it. Yeah, she did it. You know, all I had to get extra charges for that's no reason. Possession of marijuana, speeding. Yeah, you can't. Yes. Nah, man. I, like, like my neighborhood has said the speed limit should be 30. I've been seeing people flying down the block doing like about 55, 60. I'm like, dude. Kids could be outside. Playing. Like, what's wrong with people, man? So I don't feel bad when this cop hit these people with tickets, man. For that, like, what? Look, look, look. 20 something miles per hour over the speed limit. You had your chance to talk it out. You had your chance to sign that citation and be on your merrily way home. Ego. Arrogance all comes into effect. People don't know how to separate that when dealing deal with law enforcement, especially when you know you're wrong. If you know you, I was always told, right? Do whatever it takes to make it back home. I was always told that. Even if you know, even if for some reason that you're right, comply, do whatever you gotta do, just so you don't go on them cuffs and you go home. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. It all depends on the cops that pulled you over. But when you get a nice cop that pulled you over, that's when you take advantage of the situation. That's your chance to be nice, polite, respectful as much as you can so you can make it back home. That's the mentality that I got when I was growing up. People don't do that. They escalate the situation, they act stupid, they act ignorant, and then they wonder why the cops is coming on and you're going in jail. Especially when you know you're wrong. That's what I'm saying. I don't be doing anything. So when a cop pill my, you're damn right I'm complying. I ain't doing nothing wrong. I ain't gonna curse at the cop, trying to make a scene, trying to make him find something. <laughs> Why do people do that, man? There's no reason for that. Ah, man. Hopefully she learns her lesson. I don't know. She's very emotional. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe because of the marijuana, that could play with the emotions too at the same time. Hopefully, you know, she learned her lesson. Next time, just comply, man. Put the window down. You, um, communicate better with the officer. And you'll be on your merrily way, man. So hopefully next time, you're actually not speeding. And no marijuana in your car. And if you do, make sure you have the card on you, all right? It's just simple stuff, man. People act like this is complicated. This is simple stuff. I've been driving for 20 years. Never got pulled over. Well, I can't say never got pulled over. I got pulled over multiple times. But every time I got pulled over, I was respectful. I complied. I listened, and I was able to go on my way home. It, it, it's it's just simple steps, man. Adults should know better than, than teens and kids. Hey, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know what you think about this video in these comments. Do you guys honestly really believe that she wasn't smoking marijuana in the car? Or do you guys honestly believe that she was doing 40 in a 30? Now, that's what she said. Cup said she was doing like 65. What do you guys think? Hey man, until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.